Being Frank ENT, they gon' remember this shit. Remember this shit. Remember this shit. This pot gripping the clock, rolling solo on you fuck niggas. Fuck, niggas, fuck niggas. When I was down on my luck, remember you niggas didn't wanna fuck with me. Fuck with me, fuck with me. Hard time growing up, made it almost impossible. I don't. What's going on, everybody? King of Impossible here. And I have another special guest today. We have Sky, also Forever Justin, and we have Mellow Hype. I'm truly, truly grateful for all of y'all being able to take time out of your schedules to come. I'm truly grateful for all the audience coming to visualize and come and meditate and live a great life with us. We got to entertain you, inform you, and also share a little bit of our perspective and experiences. So before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe. You're right here in the biggest sweater, you feel me? And tell your mom, your granny, your papa, all your reptiles, your cousin, the druggles, the birds. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> and... Don't forget your mom. Oh, don't forget your mom. Oh, yeah. Straight to you, lady. Hey. So, before we get started, let me ask y'all another question that I already asked y'all before, because it's the second edit. Um, how was y'all's day? It's Gucci. Okay. Fantastic, bro. It's a blessing, bro. Fantastic day for one so far. That's real. Scott? Great. I've been up since yesterday. Been hustling? <laughs> been hustling into the money? Hey, man. Yeah. Doing your thing. That's real. Yeah. No. Hey, the, the Dragon Ball Z hoodie, man. That's player too over there. Or right, styling, doing your thing, man. Your nails out there. Oh, man. I ain't even going to sell Dragon Ball Z. Man, man. Is man. you man. retarded? Man, I'm not wrong. Man, listen. So, before we get into it, we have a topic for each and every one of y'all today. Um, Y'all good? Anybody need to, need to take restroom break or anything? No. Sure. Say we just sat down. Good. Cool. Cool. So, today's episode will be about dominance, how to identify and how to control, and also being able to identify and tell the difference of being overly confident and being too dominant. Mm -hmm. So, um, before so I like to start off by asking Scott first, what is confidence? What do you feel confidence is? <coughs> It's something like, say you like something about yourself. Yeah. You don't give a fuck nobody say it. Okay. Because you're confident. Okay. Some people see it as arrogant. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, Justin, what, what do you feel confidence is? I feel like confidence is, you know what I'm saying, you just got this, you got this feeling about yourself that nobody can tell you otherwise. You feel me? It, that's how you feel if you wake up and you come out and like, man, I feel good today. Okay. If no one tells you, you know what I'm saying, somebody tell you, nah, bro, you ain't feeling good today. You like, yeah, nah, cause I feel good. You feel me? So it's just like, yeah, that's real. Nah, fam, confidence is how you feel. All right. How about you, Melo? Sure, it's just basically knowing what everybody else gotta say. Mm -hmm. Don't even matter. All right. I didn't even okay, so you, you bro. My bad, he been interrupting. Nah, you good, bro. <laughs> you good, bro. Uh, so Justin, let me ask you, what? How can you be overly confident? Is it possible to be overly confident? I mean, is it is that is that crosses over to cockiness? Or, I mean, shoot, you could be cocky in the in, in what you worked for. You feel me? Like if you built something up by yourself, or even if you had help, you know what I'm saying. But if you built something up and you like, all right, I'm sitting on this, then yeah, you could be cocky about what you built. But at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's, you, you can't be cocky about everything. You feel me? Sometimes you can overconfidence can be cocky, you know built up to cockiness. You feel me? Okay. So what is overconfidence? Scott, you know, can what is what's overconfidence? Basically, you really can't just be overconfident. But there's a thin line between being confident and being arrogant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like if you're going around boasting all day, all the time, it's like, bro, chill out. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask really like what is overconfident? What is like? Overconfident? I think it becomes airy, like you're saying, it becomes that's, that's, that's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah, like if you become overconfident, well, sure. So, should everybody else will let you know about yourself then? Right, you know what I'm saying? The energy in the room, in the world, will let them know. Because it's like, bro, like, look, you feeling, we're not feeling your vibes no more. So, just for the audience to know, arrogant means. Having or revealing an extract, in, in oh shit, 
Hold on. Exaggerate the sense of one's own importance or abilities. Mm-hmm. So repeat that one more time. Having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities. So can arrogance be bad? Can somebody can arrogance? So let me ask y'all this. When you think of Kanye, is that arrogance or is that overly confident? It's just retarded. It's retarded. Man, he's okay. made a lot of bad decisions. But I, as far as personality wise, though, when when he calls himself, I am a god. I am, I am this. This is my music. Sure, is that's perfect. how he feels. You know what I'm saying, if you feel like he's a god, a god is a person that creates, bro. He but see, he's not really. Mm, he, I see him with that. He's not really arrogant, though. I, like that. I mean, uh, so he's not arrogant. A no, that's not what I. That. That's that's not like like he's not really arrogant. I feel like he feels shitty. He feels shitty. Yeah. You can tell by like, like you know how he go off in them crazy spells and stuff, bro. Right. Like, um, crazy spells. Yeah, bro, fool, dude, crazy, bro. So Kanye kind of be casting spells. Shit, probably. Uh, look at his wife. Hey, look at the wife. Oh, interesting. The she probably be speaking. casting spells. Y'all be probably yeah. dude, whole family shit. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, up and see Shoot, the words you speak of spells, even even rapping, even saying all these different words. Oh yeah, imagine behind the words. words. Yeah, you're right about that. So can y'all name somebody who who y'all feel is um who is a symbol of confidence? Gucci. Me. Gucci. Gucci made my day. <laughs> No, I say, uh, oh yeah, Gucci man, he, he made a man say. Y'all seen two chains? Two chains, two chains. Yeah. Um, what, what he no, do? like he be in the gym now. Oh, me. Oh, oh word. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, so a whole bunch of uh, two chains, Wiz. Wiz Khalifa. Oh, uh, he yeah. ain't skinny no more. Nah, yeah, Wiz on day two. So. Okay, so all right, now what is what is dominance? I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. What is dominance? So that's <clears> confidence <throat> mixed with like. Else. You somebody that people look up to, like for dominance. Yeah, you, you ain't let me finish, bro. Yeah, I know. I was just like sure. you know, you know, it's always that person. It's like, like if you go into a room and you tell people, what, like, you, you obviously the dominant person in that room. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No. You've never heard like if you. Walk I, I, mean, I understand what you're saying, but break it down for the audience because. I understand what you're saying, but yeah, it was still a little bit cryptic. Try to break it down for like kindergarten level for people who maybe had, you know, kids may be watching too, so, you know, so. Try to break it down so they can understand. Like, the dominant person kind of runs everything. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Like, you go into the room and you run shit, like. Okay. The principal got more dominance over the teacher, so when the principal come in the room, y'all listen to the principal. Okay. You know? Okay, so let me ask you this now. Now let's say I walk into the room and I say, man, I know I'm the shit, bro. Can't nobody tell me the shit. I'm the best person in this room. And everybody tries to say, no, you're not the shit. But you're saying, no, fuck all y'all, I am the shit. Could that be similar to dominance? Or mixed with confidence? Or what is the, the, the difference between that? Well, if don't nobody listen to you, then. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, too dominant at that point. Yeah. To be real. I mean, you should. Okay, well, okay. You should touch it, man. Everybody, like. Oh. I don't know what's it anyway. Like, what? People don't want you to prove it. If you got, once you, if you prove it, and they see, okay, yeah, you came in, you said all the things you said, because at first people going to be like, bro, who is this? You know what I'm saying? But then once you prove that, yeah, okay, I said what I said, I'm the best at whatever, whatever you trying to be the best at, then they're going to be like, all right. Well, I can't really say nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? He came in and proved himself. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's say each one of us has a craft, whether it be um, uh, fitness or whether it be comedic, whether it be acting, whether it be um, just media in general or hustling in any form of fashion. Is there a way to be dominant in your field that you actually ran? And, or is there also a way to be confident as yeah, well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are some ways that y'all feel that you can be dominant and confident in your field? You, man, you can be confident. One, you, you can be confident because you can believe in yourself as soon as you walk through the door. Once you, whatever you're trying to go for, bro, like if you're trying to be a, a, a gymnastic, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, know, you just gotta come in them uh, stretched out, ready to go. You feel me? Like stretched out. You feel me? Like you can be you, confident and believing that you can hit these flips. And you're going to practice all these flips at outside the gym, you feel me? So you can know when you come in the gym, you be prepared to jump on the beam and hit that hook. You feel me? That's real. <laughs> okay. So, uh, 
All right. So what are ways to identify fake confidence? Fake confidence. Sometimes <laughs> you have people who pull who put on a persona. Angles. And like bitches turn their ass so they ass look bigger in that picture. So they look confident <laughs> as fuck on that. Yeah. On there, but you see them in person, it's like, oh. The no go. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's like a filter. It's funny. They yeah. used to be okay. false confidence. So would they be liars? So when I, you know. They uh, probably at home uh, crying, so, bro. Like, awesome shit. That make you a liar, bro. Like, if you get a fake ass. Because so you, you, you can't that fish him, bro. Like, you, so, like, so, you got to so, suck in your stomach, and then when you take the picture, you. <laughs> Can breathe and shit like so now let me ask you this what is the borderline between fake confidence and real confidence like one's fake and one's real you can see it like you can you can see the, the real i mean so fake. it's obvious when they fake it okay like, so let's say somebody's saying okay i know okay let's say somebody uh for example like you say the stomach somebody's trying to suck their stomach in you're trying to put on persona is that Somebody give me a case. Well, yeah, give me fake an example. Last. What you mean give me an example? Give me an example of some fake confidence. If you got this certain energy about you, if you going in believing, man, I, and you know what I'm saying? Okay, like the first, the real confidence, you like, man, I'm going to get this job. Man. Like, I'm going I'm to get this job. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I study for it. I'm going to get this. Job. Like, I'm going in. I'm going to pass the test. I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And But if you you got that beauty, that, those would be the person that's going to end up getting it. But if you got the fake confidence, you feel me? Like, you're going to be like, man, yeah, I ain't studied, but I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the test. I'm passage, like you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna get it, cause all that, all it is just a couple of questions. You feel me? I study, I study yeah, all yeah, day. You, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the fake, the fake confidence ain't gonna actually fall through, bro. Mm-hmm. The real confidence, it's gonna always last, bro, cause it was there from the beginning. You feel me? Okay. Now, is, is there a way? Okay, just like how you can be confident and overly, overly confident, right? For dominance. When you going in, mastering the room, how is there a way to be overly dominant in a room? Yeah, yeah, you can cry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm really looking for Scott in stuff. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Can you answer that one? Oh, is, no, is there a way? I, is, huh? A way to <laughs> be. I was looking at the floor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm thirsty, man. Ah, uh, see. Bro, what you saying, bro? Keep my yeah. jug on me. Everybody yeah. get you a jug, bro. Yeah. yeah. Water. That's real. Good water, man. Um, Avatar. We need to get, like, some black alkaline water in Avatar. That's black, real. black water. So, I basically ask, how can you, can, can, is, is it possible to be overly dominant in a room or in a relationship? Say, okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> okay, I got a better one. So okay. let's say you're in a relationship and the girl says or a guy says um, they like dominance, right? Mm-hmm. And that mean I'm gonna choke the fuck out you and you better not say shit. Uh-huh. Bitch, nah. <laughs> you said, hold on, wait, repeat that? You said it's That's good. like my safety word. So, so <clears throat> let's say you're in a relationship and your partner says they like a person who's dominant. Now, what is, how, how can you identify? The dominance between dominance and overly dominant to where you're controlling. Well, you, well, you can tell, like, it, I'm not saying, like, this only happened to females, but you can tell whenever a female's nigga tells her what to do all the time. Like, I had a friend in high school, bro. Her yeah. boyfriend wouldn't let her wear tights. Damn. Man, boy, I wish I would be somebody's slave. Goddamn, tell me what to wear. Okay, how y'all feel about this? And Matt? And Pat? I'm sorry, Matt. Who Matt? Matt. <laughs> Pat, Pat got the mat with the, the magic carpet. You feel me? You know no, what I'm saying? I, was the ball. I mean, I was trying to. I was trying to get up, but it didn't work. It didn't connect. <laughs> that girlfriend probably spanked him though. I ain't See? got no girl. <laughs> it's over with. Bitches be getting spanking his man. <laughs> I got so okay. So your girl come up to y'all say she want to do that the whole BDSM thing. Where y'all get whipped and spanked and shit. Y- y'all y'all rolling with that? You said she don't spank me for Yeah, she wants to. But but also you wanna do the same stuff to her too. She ain't gonna spank me, bro. I'll spank her for say what the fuck? You getting whipped by your girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please be doing that shit. Hey bro, this one dude said it ain't gay, let a girl eat your booty, bro. Bro, that's his That's how the question. That's how that's how you feel, but that's look, right. I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going in. <laughs> I ain't going, fam. Hey, that's just not I ain't saying, I ain't saying you gay or not. I'm saying I ain't going. You saying I ain't gay? I'm just 
that's his, that's his, that's his, that's his What did you call then? That shit was different. All right. You gonna let a motherfucker take your ass home? Not at all. I ain't doing that. You said what? Wait, what'd you say? You said she, you said somebody gonna tickle my ass home. Oh, no. No, that's not going on. <laughs> oh, man. That shit's dead. <laughs> so, so y'all, so you said, so Pat, you saying that you should be laying down. You know, girl, I, I just got done. You, I just got busting with her. You laying down, she, she, you know what I'm saying? You laying on your stomach. She go over there and she lick your ass off, girl. And she, she, she don't just go over there. But I never said that. I ain't say that. Well, she forced the <laughs> shit out you there, nigga. Nah, she, I'm, I'm <laughs> great. It's over with, bro. You wake up. <laughs> she said, nigga, she, <laughs> shut up, nigga. I'm gonna Boy, get this, nigga. Hell, man. Fuck that, fool. Nah, but she, she was just trying to surprise you. Act surprise. <laughs> We fighting, bro. <laughs> okay, we so fighting, bro. No, I, I know you're not gonna ask me how that was that day, cause I don't know. That's the fuck you gonna get. Okay, so let me ask y'all this though. All right, so let's say, will that make you less dominant in the relationship? If yeah, you were yeah, boy, she. Yo, gonna, girl, nasty, bro. Why is a female forever. spitting at you, bro? She gonna forever have that. Hey, nigga, I hate your ass. <laughs> And anybody that And then you gotta be like, Man, I don't sleep. You yes. talk you talk around to, everybody. You gotta talk to you anybody. Know, shit, you, know. you gotta talk talk to any kind of shit around your partners. Okay, so let me ask so <laughs> all right, guys, so, so, so <laughs> Alright. Now, let's say you have a homegirl and she say, um she licks her, her guy's ass. <laughs> Will that make him less dominant in their relationship? I know you wouldn't do it, so we're saying hypothetically speaking. Hell no. Bro, no. Bruh, she come in and tell me she licked somebody's ass for when we finna go get the bleach. Oh, man. We gonna rush sure. up at the bleach? Oh, yes. No, we going to the dentist. No bleach. We taking it. We taking it. We going to the dentist now. <laughs> Shit. But, no, nah, I can't be friends with nobody licking her ass, fam. Because then I'm like, damn. Probably you drank hard. out of my cup yesterday, bro. Like. Then you um, done, now yeah, you got ass. Now you got ass to your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, bro. Okay. Well, we don't judge anybody here. If y'all do that, it's all, it's all. Yeah, okay, it's all right, bro. I'm just saying that ain't, you know what I'm saying. But more power to the people. So, I mean, just, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying, like I'm saying, I'm just not the females eating mine. I'm not going. Something about that is, it's feminine. I don't care what nobody say. Ain't no nigga tooting his ass in the air, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, nigga. So, you, you first of all, you laid you laid up with your ass. That's what I'm saying. Like, all right, so, so y'all haven't been doing an inchworm. Oh, so y'all ain't ever like been in the well, uh, the movie Human Centipede. You seen this? Probably that's not dead. Oh man, so you didn't see this? Yeah. Ain't that that movie uh, with the big worm? No, man, no, no, it's no, like no, 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 it's this dude, bro. This dude connected people like. It was on all fours, and he had them like sewn together. Mouth ass. Um, this is like the rated R, rated X version of the podcast. So watch out for the people, for all the youngest. I'm sorry. Um, oh man, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's going down. so I mean, so let's say y'all, let's say your girl, you know what I'm saying? She laid down, she bent over and shit, right? Right. You ain't ever like bent over, you know what I'm saying? You don't like, just trying to make the porn moves, you know what I'm saying? You be on the bed. Right. Huh? No, you just made me think of something, bro. bro. On uh, on Twitter, we was having this like this little thing going around. This this bitch talking about some uh, when he hit it from the bank, got a tickle his balls, bro. On me. That's you. On me. What are you talking about? She yeah, got, got, got broke. Right. Right. She got broke. Right. Yeah. Right. On me. Yeah. You gonna got... laugh? No, I ain't gonna laugh. That shit feel good though. She got hit. The nah, nigga. What if you flinch because that shit tickle? What if she flinch? Yeah. She so she right. gonna be. Yeah, them nails you got, them motherfucker ain't scratch the ass on or some shit. Then I'm just like, yep. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> so say say with that one. Damn no! Nah, what if I she miss and grab your ass, bro? Then I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna navigate her hand. You feel me? So I'd be scared. Like, Bro, I'm just saying. That's something that you'll be able to apply in your relationship style. Apply. Should have gone ahead and add that to the folder. Supposed to be there. Where do I fill out the application? Say that to the folder. Put this on the resume. Okay, now, but does that, would that lower the dominance level? What would lower the dominance level? The dominance level as far as, like, tickling the balls and getting close to the ass and things of that nature. I mean, as far as like over the hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't think this guy. Huh? <laughs> okay. 
So as far as dominance level, when it comes to like um, playing with the, the the genitalia behind the, you know, what I'm saying while you while the sex is going on, does that lower the confidence level? Not uh, confidence. I mean the dominance level. Nah, cause my nigga, if I ask you what we finna eat, you better answer that shit too. <laughs> It ain't always gotta be so goddamn serious, bro. Okay, so um, at that like, point, whatever happened, happened, bro. But bro, you just supposed to later, and then they be like, "Oh, you bitches lazy." Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. That's real. Okay. That's real. Um, he says whatever. Whatever happened, happened at that point. Ain't no. Uh, but if something happen, you gotta stop. Be like, hey, but that's bro. like the niggas. They nah, be bro. They be trying to go straight for your booty hole. Just stick their finger in there. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to ease your way in there. <laughs> Yo, what up? Yo, what up? <laughs> so why you laugh like that, bro? I'm trying to hold it in. Man. <laughs> Let this shit out, fool. It probably would have been. I had to laugh for the month last night, man. Laugh? I, I love them kind of laughs, dog. They'll be the best laughs. Oh my god. Bro, I don't, cause then my ass can't breathe, bro. That's fine. I I'll die a little bit for laugh. Real talk, that's funny. No, but bro, I seen what? this thing on Twitter last night. Yeah. <laughs> this so nigga weird, put his bro. he put his hand like this on the girl ass. Yeah. And he went boing right in that asshole, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about it had the little Mario noise and everything. Damn, <laughs> bro. He blessed he didn't catch no socks charge for that. No, bro, like, f- what do y'all get from that shit? Well, for poking shit, the girl shit. in the ass, huh? What if you do that and you scratch your face? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> what? Shit. What you doing, bro? I mean, hopefully, uh, that shit was clean, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I don't care. Now you got shit out. Shit, no. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure shit. if it was, if yeah. it's spanky, you What if you go like this and you be like, uh, I'm like, damn, that's, that's so good. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you, if, like that, you, mm-hmm. you're going to be beat the up. I'm going to it. Can you go back in for seconds? Bro, it's over with, bro. <laughs> but y'all, ever, I ain't trying to go too crazy, man. <laughs> we didn't know how to wait there, bro. Yeah, damn. Yeah, we went there about a mile ago. Um, shit. I'm going to go ahead and just for y'all, y'all, I'm gonna go this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in there or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, uh, now I gotta try to hurry up because I know my man gotta get up out of here. Um, so, that X two girls in one cup, y'all remember that shit? Sure. Oh, oh, disgusting. That is uh, gross. I think one of them died from it, man. For real? Oh, I can't prove it, but I'm just saying. Man, I know some people, man. That's 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 a shit to watch. That's a go to. You seen it? What? Yeah, yeah. I saw that's 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 you said they go to. That's that's they go to. You said you know some people. Who the fuck is your company, fam? Right. Damn. Let me get out of here, man. Every now and then, like, hey, you see what? this? Yeah. Oh, bro, some shit. Like, <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. That's the third time. Let me show nah, you this shit. Let me show you this shit. Uh, man. I know you. Yeah, I know you. Know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, is it? Is you were prudent. But after that, bro, I never went back. I never told anybody, like. Hey bro, you too. I ain't never told nobody that, bro. I never did that. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't advise nobody to be like, hey, go watch two girls. I'm just like, hey, I nigga, I seen two. Bro, and I was like twelve. No, nah, I'm gonna definitely. I definitely tell some people to watch that shit. Like, hey, bro, how long? That was at least. Yeah, but you know, like, bro, we was, was young when that shit come ago. out. That was like a decade ago, bro. That, that was a life lesson. More than bro. more than a decade ago. It was like 2006, 2007 or some shit. You know yeah, what's so that crazy, shit, bro? Because we in this cloud chasing era, bro. Y'all got five guys over here. Right, so that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, cause fucking black shows rolling up close to the house is disturbing now. Oh God. You said what? Black shows rolling up close to the house is in the neighborhood. Gotta go there. So, um, basically, before, uh, actually, man, I mean, okay, we'll go grab this part up then. Yeah, yeah, y'all still got some time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just keep it going. Um, so, just for everyone, it's part one. Um, Justin Forever, Justin oh, yeah. will be back on yeah, yeah. Let Again. Yeah, yeah, bro. No, of course. So, he has to run, and we will also keep this section of it going. And, bro, thank you for coming and making some time. Oh, yeah. Um, shit, man. Good. If you guys want your schedule free later on, bro, you can let me hang too. Yeah, I mean, I ain't been on them uh, lately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on the house. Right. You got I ain't got no team. That's why. If I ain't got no, if I got some people to link up with, you got Xbox, Xbox. You got Xbox. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Y'all got Xbox? Yeah. Bro, if I got what, what game? Bro, we gotta get one. We get out this and we gotta say something. Uh, all right, I got you. Yeah, bro. Let me take this shit off. <laughs> oh, yo, yeah, I got y'all. All right, you got me. I got you.